easy, stretchy cashew mozzarella in minutes. Just six pantry-friendly ingredients, and you're on your way to spreading warm, flavorful, stretchy cheese on all your sandwich dreams. Hello, I'm Catherine, and tomorrow is the first official holiday of our holiday season here in Canada, and that means that all of our produce that is bountiful in fall our squash, pumpkin, root vegetables of all kinds will be prepared in abundance, and that means leftovers. And if Brian and I can speak from experience, we have eaten a lot of squash developing our holiday recipes for you, and it gets to the point where the motivation to sit down to another plate of roasted vegetables really starts to fall off. So in comes the holiday leftover sandwich. And what better way to elevate a holiday sandwich than with an easy cashew mozzarella. So how in the world do you make a cashew mozzarella? Let's dig into our pantry. Cashews, tapioca flour or starch, nutritional yeast, garlic powder, sea salt, some lemon juice, and water. Some of these may be new to you. So tapioca flour or starch, they're the same thing and can be used interchangeably. We keep this in our pantry for making recipes like this stretchy cashew mozzarella. And that's because it's a really strong starch with a really mild flavor. And it comes from the root of the cassava plant. You could try this recipe with another starch, but if you want to make the stretchiest cheesy sauces whenever the mood strikes, then pick up a bag of tapioca flour when it's on sale stick it in your pantry, or you can likely find it at your local bulk store. If you've been following along with us, you know that we use nutritional yeast all the time. It's a flaked deactivated yeast. It's shelf stable and it's called nutritional yeast because it's fortified with all kinds of vitamins, minerals, health promoting, good stuff. So it's weird. It looks like flaked fish food to me, but it packs a huge boost of savory, cheesy flavor. We stir it into our sauces, soups, dips. It's a pantry staple for us, and you can find it in the natural food section of your local grocery store or your bulk store. Sorry, snacking on cashews. Perks of a food show. You can eat the props. If you have a tree nut allergy though, don't despair because I have tried this recipe with tofu in place of the cashews and the starch. Just tofu and the seasonings and it works quite well. It's just not quite as stretchy. So if you need that, click the link below for a note on how to make this with tofu. Step one of this cashew mozzarella is to soak your cashews. I'm using half a cup of raw cashews and most recipes that call for soaking cashews will be referencing raw cashews. If you try it with roasted, you might be able to taste the cashew flavor a bit more and it might not blend down quite as creamy. If that's all you have, then give it a try and let me know in the comments how you find it. And there are two methods to soaking cashews. One, <laughs> there are two methods. The long soak, you can soak them for eight hours or overnight in cold water in your fridge, but you can over soak them and they'll get slimy. So for that reason, I tend to use the quick soak method because life seems to get in the way of plans and I don't really want half a cup of slimy cashews in my fridge. For the quick soak method, boil some water in your kettle, pour the boiling water over your half a cup of cashews in a heat proof measuring cup or bowl and let the cashews soak for 15 to 20 minutes. After these soak, I'm going to blend them with the rest of these ingredients and then quickly cook the cheese sauce on the stove top. But in the meantime, I'm going to gather my leftovers for this holiday squash sandwich. I'm using sliced and roasted butternut squash that I have rolled in a peppercorn, salt, and garlic crust. Quick caramelized balsamic onions and leftover cranberry sauce. When your cashews are done soaking, drain the water they soaked in and add the cashews to your blender. Add one cup fresh, cool water, three and a half tablespoons tapioca starch or flour, one tablespoon lemon juice, half a teaspoon sea salt, half a teaspoon garlic powder, and two tablespoons nutritional yeast. Blend on high until the cashews are broken down and the sauce is smooth. Pour the blended sauce into a small saucepan and heat over medium for five to eight minutes. Stir quite frequently to ensure the sauce doesn't stick to the bottom or the sides. Your sauce will start to thicken and now make sure to stir constantly. It will form more of a ball, peel away from the sides of the pot, and when it looks extra stretchy, you're ready to serve it up. is 
pretty cool. So if you are looking to jazz up your holiday leftovers and make them feel fun and different, let us know in the comments below if you try this easy, stretchy cashew mozzarella. And if you have leftovers, of the mozzarella. Store them in a container in your fridge. It'll lose a bit of that stretchy drama, but it still tastes great. And you can scoop it onto pizzas or stuff it into pastas or however else you'd like. And although nuts and nutritional yeast are some of the pricier items in our pantry, this cashew mozzarella recipe costs us $2.28 to make versus around $5 for a traditional ball of mozzarella. And the holiday squash sandwich recipe makes four sandwiches and costs us about $2.65 a sandwich. But that's accounting for an entire batch of our cranberry sauce, the onions, the bread, the cheese, and half a butternut squash. So click those links below for these recipes. Subscribe for a new video every Sunday at 5. And next Sunday, we are cooking up the warmest skillet of cinnamon apples and serving it on a carrot cake oatmeal. But for now, I think I need a napkin.